art gallery Kalamunda Modern on the opening night of a very exciting exhibition. Paintings from German artist Angelica Steiger and glassworks from Australian artist Matthew Curtis are on show. My name is David Lavelle. I'm the Shire president of the Shire of Mundaring. But I'm also the, um, the engineer that, um, that supported Roman build this lovely building. And I, it's been a, it's a pleasure to be here this evening. The art tonight is um, it's quite it's stunning. Um, it is it's uh, it's contemporary. The gallery opened this year in May. It was opened by John Day, the Minister for Art and Culture. Um, we for next year. This is the last exhibition for this year. It goes on until the 19th of December. Tell us about your favourite artwork of Matthews. Very very difficult, but I think by just a tiny little. Um, Point, I would actually say that this one, number one, is my favourite. It's got such a beautiful flow to the piece of artwork. It's delicate, it's reduced, it's very Bauhaus. Um, the simplicity and the delicateness of the colour, I love it. Please tell me about yourselves. Yes, we're Colour Manor residents for about uh, 25 years and we're absolutely delighted that we've got a contemporary gallery now available in Kalamunda, particularly to show international works. Um, most of our galleries uh, around the hills are focused on Australian works. I, I really love it. Um, I, I, was, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but I was telling um, one of the gentlemen here that I, I particularly like the work behind you, and it was like a, a piece of music on canvas, and it just spoke to me uh, well, my name is Duncan Ord and I'm the Director General of the Department of Culture and the Art. And can you tell me about this gallery we're at tonight? Yes, this is a new gallery in Kalamunda, Kalamunda Modern. Um, most unusual. Um, you know, unfortunately today uh, there's a lot of closures of art galleries in Western Australia, particularly commercial galleries that are selling work. And yet Kalamunda managed to open not just a new commercial gallery, which in itself is remarkable, uh, but one with a mission to bring the best of international and Australian and local artwork uh, to the community. So it's got such a strong ethos. I am a painter. I studied in Munich and um, Akademie der Bildenden Künste. And um, since three years, I live in Greece and uh, I work there, I have their studio, and all these paintings here I made in Greece. I have, of course, a, um, in Munich, or next to Munich studio, but uh, these paintings are made in Greece. And, for example, this one, I, the first year when I was there, I made a lot of drawings of trees, of old trees, ancient trees. They're about thousand years old um, olive trees in Paros. And, um, and this was after a year I, I began to do only the trunk. I was interested to play with the colors, with the forms I saw. So can you tell me about this one? Yes, this is um, it's a, a very careful moving of leaves of nature. This is an, uh, um, uh, I did it in the same time when I did this, and uh, the both are made in acrylic. Normally, I paint only with oil, but these um, I thought I want to have them very th thin and light, like a. Um, uh, aquarelle and uh, and so both are um, uh, yeah you see very very light and sometimes um, nature has this the first only the, the little few yes it's the same theme um, what is your inspiration for the building oh round earth most people build single story buildings in round earth I thought we could go much better it's much more adventurous We've got unusual features that you don't normally see in Ramd Earth and um, everybody loves a building. People say it's like living on holiday living here. I'm Elise Van Aken and we'll see you next time.